we have another one of the sisters here that's, that's you know, talking about she just not liking being by herself anymore. We have talked about these particular videos in the past. There's a lot of women posting this. It's very interesting how the pandemic and, and financial um, struggle here in America has been humbling a lot of women with that strong and independent mindset. Let's review it. I'm tired of not being a wife. Like I'm sick and tired of not being a wife. I'm sick and tired of doing everything myself. I want to be like, oh, my husband got that. My husband going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm tired of it. Yeah. And she isn't the only one. It's a lot of them that are starting to get real tired of doing everything by themselves, not having a leader, not having a provider, not having a protector in the household. You heard what she said? Oh, well, you know, she won't be in a position where you say, Oh, I ain't worried about that. My husband got that. Yeah. That's comfort for women. That's the natural order of things. Women don't supposed to be out here being strong and independent and acting like a man. That's why they're miserable. Oh, they got the career. They got this and that and the third, but they don't have no husband. They don't have no children. They don't have anything. And they become miserable because that's not the natural order of things. It's nothing wrong with careers, it's nothing wrong with degrees and all of that, but it has its proper place. It can't be a lot of them. They sit up there, want to focus on all that instead of trying to build a family after they get the career. They in their late thirties, now they scrambling looking for a man all of a sudden, because now they, they realize the biological clock is ticking on them to have some children. And they messing up their chances to get a husband. I want somebody else to do it. I want to sit back and be a lady and not have to be a man all the time. Or uh Oh, she said that she want to sit back and be a lady and not a man all the time. See, at least, and I have so much respect for her, at least she's admitting it. I have so much respect for her. And when you get them admitting that, then that's the point where change and healing can be done right there. But it took some, I guess, some, some events for her to say, you know what? This isn't it. I don't like all this. Handle things like a man. Like, I want to be a lady. Like, where is my husband at? Where are you? You know what? I am so tired of you playing games with me. Wait till I, wait till you come get me, leaving me out here with these dang on gremlins. Mm -mm. <laughs> come get me, boo boo. Don't you love me? All right. So, I mean, this woman here, like I said, she she don't have a husband, but she says she want one. Well, one thing I would say is put yourself in a position to be found. That's what I would say about that. Put yourself in a position to be found. And then when you are found, you say you want a husband. Well, that would be remains to be seen. But there's a lot of women out here that's tired of, like she said, being a man. Tired of it, tired of being by themselves. And rightfully so. I just think it's interesting, you know, how financial struggle, you know, uncertainty in the country has bringing a lot of humility and bringing down that strong and independent, you know, woman uh, situation. Um, see the feminist not going to be there for you to pay them bills. The feminist is not going to be there to, uh, protect you. Not going to do that. That's, that's what men supposed to do. And I think it's a good thing that, you know, they are starting to talk like that now, now watch what happens. All y'all that's, you know, bowing the knee and saying, okay, I'm ready to be a lady. I'm ready to be feminine. I'm ready to submit. I'm ready to do everything I can to, to, to help build up the family. Watch y'all start getting married. Watch it's going to happen. I hundred percent believe that that now, since y'all willing to do the right thing, you will get married. I, I believe this woman will get married too. I believe it because she's a sit down and say, you know, enough is enough. I'm willing to go with the, the program of the traditional family. Yeah. She, she'll find her husband. The only reason she, if she wouldn't find a one, well, I would say not finding one, one will find her. The only way that wouldn't happen unless something's up off with her, uh, with her character or something to that effect. But if she's willing to be, you know, humble and submissive and just be a, you know, a real good wife, you know, a help meet. Yeah. She, she'll get married, but y'all let me know what y'all think, you know, about this situation, you know, with this sister here. Um, it's more and more of me just admitting this and that's good. Like I said, it's good. Now, at the now it's coming to the point where y'all ready to get married.